Buzz Day. I'm your host with the most Michelle Ashira across all my social media platform. Kumewaka huku. Uh, DJ Regis is not in the building, but Ametuma. Ametuma, he's the messenger. <laughs> Clearly. So, DJ Eli. Okay, welcome to Hashtag Hip Hop Thursday. Umewakilisha mbaya. Pale on our Facebook page, watu wanasema kwamba the show is actually going on quite very good. Now, comments, requests, zote zikam kwa DJ Gani? I am DJ Ellie, so we'll still have a conversation with him as, uh, okay, just a minute. We give him the mic. I you introduce visual receiver. Okay, there you go. DJ Ellie, I'm going to turn down on your Instagram and Twitter, I am DJ Ellie. Okay. Yeah. Instagram and Twitter, I am DJ Ellie. So, we want to chase a bit of trap trap. Oh, Kidoku. nice. Mm. So basically what to make comments na pia what to make requests yeah, are all zika. kind of uh, hip hop song they want to listen yeah. to. Okay so you got it guys so all you have to do is send in your requests comments and then uh, uh, DJ Ellie got you right? So we are in uh, another session of an interview so our guest today uh, he's the first actually artist that I've met who goes by his real names per <laughs> identification. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Max Mwange. Yes. Drip is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, you're uh, you a rare one. Most of the most of uh, other artists that I've come across, they always uh, come up with uh, a name for their platform as an artist. So, uh, why Max Mwangi? Uh, actually, uh -huh. I had a name mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like it identified with me. Oh, I wanted to just be me. Okay. I, this music or the art that I'm doing, mm -hmm. I wanted to identify with me. So that's why I just chose to just go by my real name. Okay. Yeah, and I've actually like moved along with it for some time and it's really working out. Oh great. So yeah. come to again, you uh, I'm from Buru. Mm -hmm. Uh sides so but now I stay in Tika. Okay. Because of, of school I study in Mount Kenya University. Oh. So I reside inside Zatika but at times I do go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to see my parents and everything, uh, yeah, and family. So parents mm. want to play the history, uh, uh, <laughs> shule plus music. Oh, um, there. How is the Nini, the balance? Mm -hmm. You can be able to balance school. And uh, I think some music? it's just about how you prioritize everything mm -hmm. because at the same time as I'm doing music, I still uh, believe that school is very important. Okay. Because we are going to school to get this knowledge, so mm -hmm. uh, this knowledge has an impact to it that is needed at a later date in life. So that is why I choose to just balance it off. Maybe create time, have a schedule. All right. If it's class, I go to class. If it's music, I create time for music because we all have time. We are given 24 hours, and it's mm -hmm. how you usually, usually like utilize the the time. All right. So what are you studying yeah. back in Uni? Um, I'm doing journalism uh, and mass oh, communication. Oh, so clearly, if you were not on the other side, you should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I chose to do a field that is uh, more connected to media and okay. mass communication. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. far so good? Yeah. So where did the love of hip-hop music come from? <laughs> uh, I think since I was young, mm -hmm. I just loved listening to hip-hop. Um, uh, I think well, I think Juicy J, mm -hmm. when he was coming up, he inspired me to, to okay. just mm -hmm. start writing because he came up with a new style to hip-hop. Even if you listen to his, his earlier songs, yeah. his beats were different from... Mm -hmm. So he inspired me to just start writing and just come up with this music and mm -hmm. yeah I've just been uh, doing music ever since. All right so most of your songs are mm. for messenger to for, for message uh mm. no sorry not message what mm. is up with me it's still mm. the message uh yeah. from your first single <laughs> uh. which is Genesis yeah yes from Genesis to Scar mm. and then now we have we have a new gem that you're actually here to promote mm. so there's a um, I've seen most of these songs are published in a period in a time period of one year. So, yeah. was it intentional whereby you were working uh, prior um, to last uh, year? Actually, what happened was um, I used to just write music. I never like got a chance to hit the studio. Okay. So I just met up with a friend of mine. We were in the same school. Shout out to Moas Jose. Right. He was my schoolmate. So he hit me up and told me like, bro, I've heard like you are doing music because I used to perform in in some gigs and everything but i never hit the studio so he hit me up and told me like yo come to the studio we can do something so from 2019 january okay. that's when we met up with him mm -hmm. and we just started working and just releasing and uh, so far mm -hmm. i just want to just say like 
he's been one of the people who's had like an impact on my life because mm -hmm. he's taught me a lot in music. I thought like I knew a lot, but mm -hmm. he has shown me like a new whole world in music and I'm really grateful for everything he has done for me. Absolutely. Yeah. So let me take you back. You mentioned an artist known as Juice and mm -hmm. uh, a couple, we have the same, when you talk about Juice, his music mm -hmm. has always been, he was very much, he was very much open about mental health. Yeah. We have uh, X -X -ten -ten mm -hmm. then you have also Lila, Lil Pimp. Yeah. So all these artists have been very much open about their mental health situation. Yeah. We have lost a couple of artists, Juice World, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so just through uh, yeah. overdose yeah. so depression is real apart yeah. from artists because there is a public image you have to put yeah. out there yeah. then it can it can take an emotional turmoil on you and being yeah. an artist you get the label of celebrity and you yeah. feel the need to yeah. keep up with social media and what people expect from you yeah. so uh, so far have you felt the need uh, to just uh, you know put, put an image that is not of you no me uh, honestly if you look at my work, mm -hmm. I honestly try to just have, to speak okay. like a certain message to, to, to the people. That's why I don't even like release music on a constant because mm -hmm. I like to tend, I tend to just chill, mm -hmm. look at what is happening, just try and analyze everything that is happening and just try and relate the, the people who are listening to me mm -hmm. and my music. Mm -hmm. So I think depression here is real in the industry. I think there's so much pressure but now, how you take this pressure as an artist is mm -hmm. what determines how you'll succeed. Me, I usually take, tend to take this pressure as positive because, as let me, let me be honest, when 2020 started, I felt like I needed to do more. But at the same time, I told myself, let me just have, maintain my flow. Because if something is meant mm -hmm. for you, it will be for you eventually. Okay. Yeah, so that is why I just feel like, if, yeah, you might be depressed, but I usually tend to take this as a positive like aspect to me just something to motivate me and keep pushing on yeah okay yeah. dj Eli, uh kwa industry in you as a as a dj and uh you tell us what 30 33 bits <laughs> yes okay okay so all right so in your industry do you guys uh face what are some of the pressure that you guys go through in order to just create a name for yourself out here uh, struggle, na connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. Networking. Yeah, networking. Mm. Mm. All right. So everything, so the most important thing is just be authentic to yourself. And, yeah. just and keep pushing. Uh, mm. Not pushing. Uh, future DJs or current DJs who are still in the process of creating a name for yourself, just go there, push yourself, and put yourself out there and be authentic. So let's go on to uh, publishing most of your jams. 2019, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, there are a couple from, uh, I think four of them, yeah. if I'm not wrong. So yeah. you've been doing a good job, yeah. totally. So what are the some of the mistakes that you've done uh, yeah. as an artist who's coming up that you feel like you can tell someone out there watching that if you do this and this, uh, then yeah. it's not going to work for you. If you do this and this, it's actually going to work for you. Uh, for me, I think the biggest mistake is when you, when you listen to like, wh you know, people will always tell you, like, okay, you, we, wasani ni wengi, mm -hmm. as in, watu ni wengi wanaimba, uta anza aje kuimba. That is the, that is the, mo like, wh that is what I received when I started music. I started, like, writing around 2015, 2016. I received a lot of criticism, and uh, it, it made me, like, to hold back and just re try and reconsider other options. But I felt like this, 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 Th this this comments or right. this this everything that is being told to me this is just people's opinion it's not me and i have a purpose for this mm -hmm. that is why i just shot back and decided to just get back to what i was doing because honestly i did feel like wow there's so much that is happening i don't know if i'll make it so there's that doubt you get even people will tell you like yo this industry is not easy but it comes back to why you're doing it mm. you know okay. me for me i do music because for me I love music. It's something which is part of me. It's helped me to just overcome some, some, some. Yeah, where there's passion, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> even this idea, like, need you build to a certain level yeah. that, like, I can be able to even help others. Oh. So I just want to tell people, yeah, just be true to yourself. Just be authentic. And usiangale kitu yote ni mtu anafanya. Unaweza kuwa na work na people and you see like wow these people are releasing music these people are doing a lot uh -huh. when I'm just 
Stick to your lane. Stick to your lane because and, everything uh, is just mm -hmm. going to happen at the right time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are, What is the one thing that will change about the hip hop music scene that we have right now in Kenya? Uh, for me, I think if if like we got a chance, like mm -hmm. you see, th there's been a revolution of gangeton mm -hmm. of play K, but I think we haven't quite tapped into hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are saying play K. I'm not, by the way, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Kenyan music. I listen to Gangeton. Like, you play Kenyan music? Yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but we haven't like, like looked into hip hop. Mm -hmm. We are saying play K, but let's mm -hmm. give also a chance to the hip hop mm -hmm. artists. Because I believe there's so much talent out here, mm -hmm. which is not ev even like tapped. Like, so as much as we are saying let's play mm -hmm. K music, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm f I feel like at, at some point we haven't quite tapped into the hip hop industry mm -hmm. as much as we are playing Kenyan music. That uh -huh. is one thing I will ask the, to be looked into. Okay, so yeah. the most uh, uh, looked up to artists in Kenya, there are a couple of them yeah. when it comes to the hip hop music scene. Yeah. So which artists would you like to collaborate with? For me, uh, I think uh, I love... Uh, Steph Capella. Steph Capella, yeah. okay, he's one of my favorites. My, okay. he, uh, I also love uh, Caterpillar. Caterpillar. He, yeah, he, yeah, did, he, he, did, ones, he yeah. worked with, uh, with, with Calligraph on Calicatel. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would love to work with him and also, yeah, Calligraph Jones, he's, okay. he's the main guy. On yeah. that, on that, on that CNE, still yeah. on that point of uh, the artist you'd like to work with. Mm. So I'm going to ask you a question that we're actually even asking our viewers, which is, which hip hop artist do you feel will kill a show in Kenya? Uh, to make a uh, our <laughs> a picture or poster on our Facebook page that is Y254 channel, and those are just uh, artists who are representing the culture from Eminem, 50 Cent, uh, Dr. Yeah. Dre, and uh, Ice Cube. But those are just images that represent the culture. You can tell us any artist that you feel that uh, if they come in Kenya on a, on a particular show, like they would just kill it. Yeah. So, mm. which so I, feel, would I feel like if there was a young tag and uh, mm -hmm. Ghana. Some wise uh, little baby. Oh, I think they will kill current, a show. Current yeah, yeah, I think they will so, kill yeah. a show in Kenya. Generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's finalize by the reason why you're here. We have looked into most of your songs, and uh, the current song is Stand Storms, yeah. uh, which is actually doing well on social media, yeah. on your YouTube channel. So mm. tell us about the vision behind Stand Storms. Yeah, I, uh, it was part of uh, an EP I did. Mm -hmm. It has five songs. Okay. Uh, it's out on Mock, by the way. Mm -hmm. You can get it only at 99 Bob. Oh. It has five songs. Okay. So I, I just wanted to just vibe to the culture, mm -hmm. street. The, if you've watched the visuals, go and check out the visuals on yes. YouTube. It has uh, like the street fashion and everything. So I tried to vibe with the, with the street fashion and culture. So that was the, like the, the theme that I had with also releasing the visuals. Yeah, at the same time. Okay, so yeah. probably at this particular is the, mm. the right time to tell people Palenyumbani mm. where they can find you on your social media accounts plus also any events coming up yeah. and uh, any kind of, uh, what's the word? I'm looking for, um, mm. what you could follow Mtandaoni. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, my s on social media you uh -huh. can find me in, uh, at Max Mwangi, mm -hmm. Max Mwangi. Okay. Um, on Instagram, Max Mwangi and everything. Oh, and uh, so uh, next Wednesday, I'm having like a live session. I'll be mm -hmm. doing a live session. Oh. Uh, you Pile can catch, uh, it will be just in school, mm -hmm. in MKU. Mm -hmm. We'll ha hold a live session with some really amazing talent that I okay. found. Mm -hmm. And I would like to even show people like what they can do. So mm -hmm. I'll be holding a live session on Wednesday from four. Okay. On Wednesday from four, you can catch that on my. Our uh, guys from outside can come. It's just yeah, just yeah, you can just come if you feel like you can join us. Any it's entry fee? No, it's free. Oh, it's totally free. free okay. So you can join us at MKU. Mm -hmm. We'll be holding a live session. We just share music. If you think you can, if you know or you think you can just sing or mm -hmm. do anything musical. Even enjoy. Yeah, the just music. come and even chill with us, share and talk about everything. Uh, it will be on Wednesday, and uh, at four, so you can just join us and just have a good time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so from all the way from 33 beats, uh, DJ Eli, mm -hmm. what you are you doing from here before uh, Max perform uh, his jam, Sandstorm? Yeah. So what you are you doing? Uh, Mzikitamu, mm -hmm. but I'm going to old school moja kidogo. Okay, so mm -hmm. old school also coming up. So make sure you send in your request. Uh, right now we are heading to your comments. Remember, you can follow us across our social media platform that is at Y254 channel. Now on our Facebook page, 
we have our question there, which is, uh, which hip-hop artist do you think will kill a show in Kenya? Which hip-hop artist do you think uh, will kill a show in Kenya? So the pictures there are just represented, uh, representing the hip-hop culture uh, from Snoop Dogg at uh, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. Uh, we have Eminem and Ice Cube's uh, director. Do we have uh, our comments? Uh, meanwhile, we can check them from here. We have one, uh, Misifa Babatov Godia Anasema, uh, the best rapper alive and the only one at Eminem. Okay, he can get people to pay $500. That's approximately 50K uh, to see him play for me. Uh, lose yourself by him going out to all your hashtag 22 represented by Yaki Way Massive. Then we have one Nguru, Kihur, Nguru Kihuriro. Wow, Eugene Ikosawa. So we have Rick Ross, T.I., Lil Wayne, and DJ Khaled. So uh, Nguru is a couple of them. Then we have Sam Young. Oh, we have them here. So we have Sam Young. And I'm a feature featuring Drake. Uh, Life is good. It come through, please. Then we have another one from Fora Fora. It's a Eminem, a Koju to Sana. Then tukona Anthony Zinwa Huruma, anasema show yiko lit mbaya, DJ Elia ko fine. Mimi ya nicheze Yes Bana pike yake by none other than OG. Tukona Fraka says anasema mob. I think ana, ana comment on the music. <laughs> then you have MC Franklin, anasema Gucci, Gucci men, and then can kill the show. Locked for Mumias, aka California. Nani mwingine, tukona Gambos, anasema Gambos Freddy, anasema Migos, alafu niwe. What to me and my hip hop niches, eh? Do you have a drop link up or Tangalia? It's gonna Sam Young as a Drake can kill a show tuned in from Dandora. So the show is lit. Uh, we have another Max and a summer Max and it's a Max Mirungu and some where DJ Watcha Kushu <laughs> Kushu Shionu where okay, uh, Inki Kuyu. Shushianyo, okay, we are not going to say that on live TV. Hell no. Hebu ni cheze Godzilla by Eminem and stop playing uh, this, okay, this kitambo jams. Nani, we need team millennial, ni sawa, lakini tutafikiria tangalia maneno yako. Uh, then, tukuna mwingina ni itua Combos Freddy, ametuma link, tutangalia. Another one from uh, Mansa, Mansab El Mango, and some uh, Shady na Aftermath, 50 Cent. Na Dr. Na Dr. Dre, it is just a study. Skumoja Johnny, Johnny Vigeti, I drop. Okay, uh, he has mentioned a couple. Then we have Adolf Mawa. No one can spit shit like M. Okay, we're not supposed to say that, but it's okay. Like Eminem. Eminem is the OG all the way. So Adolf and Eminem. Okay, CZ was gonna come through. We have CW Mtapeli Muhengam Somali. Wow. That's a sentence. It's called uh, Mo Mose, you should hear and host DTS gang. I gang pamoja na era ya era. Why, ma why mafia wanna, revolution wanna revolutionize trad trade? Okay. We will look for them. We will host them. Wana ito DTS gang. So at a futa. Duncan and a drink. So guys. And then you send all of your comments and requests to DJ Ellie when it comes to music. And you can tell us uh, which artists you feel that Akikuja Kenya will just murder the show. So at Michelle Oshiro is where you can find me across all my social media platform. And now, Tunachi Max Mwange. Yes, this is the hour whereby you perform uh, his uh, new single known as Sandstorm. Sandstorm. So uh, make sure you follow uh, Max Mwange across his social media platform. And this is the hour. DJ Ellie, you ready? Okay, so here we okay. go.